Okay, so here is um, a little, uh, I guess, practice <laughs> of, of painting. I um, actually started off with the wrong view from landscape to portrait, I guess. Um, but yeah, I, I'm trying to get in the habit of just making myself paint so that I can improve my skills. I, here's an example of definitely not my best work, um, which you can see in the end. But I just think that it's really important to um, practice even when it's like not something you necessarily look, would like put up on your own wall or yeah I think um I'm reminded of like a Van Gogh quote where he basically says you stare that um proud white piece of paper in the face and paint and I just think sometimes it's so hard just to start because you're waiting for that perfect picture um or the perfect um you know setting or content and that's um, it's not a bad thing. It just sometimes can stop you from actually painting. And I think painting just requires a lot of practice if you want to grow your skill. So <clears throat> I do like this picture. Um, you know, those nights there's, this is a night in Berlin when I went out, uh, for some really good Kurdish food <laughs> for like a work party. And, um, we were walking through like Kreuzberg, the Cotty area, and it was um, like a really beautifully snowy day, which we don't get a lot of actually in Berlin. It's really cold, but it's not often really snowy. And um, it's kind of like one of those overcast nights where it just makes the sky look like orange. Um, it's kind of like a big covering over the sky. It was just really, really beautiful. Um, so I painted this sky quite uh, red, um, but yeah, um, before I forget, I do want to say that I'm listening to Soleil, um, it's like one of my favorite things to listen to, uh, this is what it's playing in the background right now, I like to listen to Soleil, uh, when I paint, or I listen to podcasts, um, or even other YouTube videos, but right now I'm listening to Soleil. Um, their, this is their Origins album, but I also like all of their stuff, actually. <clears throat> yeah, in this uh, video, Again, I'm just trying to really force myself to block in everything first and go from there. Um, one YouTube artist I like to watch, and I actually, I never even, it was kind of like by accident I started watching him. Um, Jason Bowen has a channel who just, he just paints, I guess a lot of landscape, but... Um, I think he started off with a lot of really like Bob Ross style paintings. Um, but he got really, I think the great thing about him is that he, um, he just continually paints. Um, like his channels, I think at like 70,000 subscribers and, um, it's just kind of staying there. But I think what's really great about him is that he, um, he just, I think you can tell that he loves to do it because he just does it all of the time. I think he has other, I don't think this is his main profession. He does it on the side. Um, so it's not like he does it all day every day, but it seems like every day after work, he just paints because he just loves it. I think it takes a lot of, um, a lot of love, a lot of discipline to just paint every day or every other day. I don't know how often he's painting, but... He has just so much content. He has so many um, YouTube videos and paintings. And um, yeah.
yeah so here i'm still um <laughs> i'm about to put in the car right here and um you know w doing the voiceover and watching it back um even looking stepping back days later it's so easy in hindsight to tell what i need to work on um so this is a very honest <laughs> and vulnerable i guess sharing of painting because i don't put up my videos because i think it's the best stuff out there um or even as educational but i just put them up so you can see a process and because i think it's enjoyable to watch someone else paint myself um and it's funny often even watching other people i think it looks so bad in the beginning that's just how art starts it comes together in the end um but yeah this is you know this channel is the honest uh i'm gonna try to be as honest as i can about my process i have always loved art but this is um definitely me growing in painting it's funny i think i took every other art medium in school you could possibly take um from drawing to pottery to printmaking to glass blowing and it's funny i never took painting <laughs> um but i'm really getting into painting now <clears throat> i don't know if it's covid or motherhood or um just different season of life but i'm really enjoying painting yeah um but yeah what i was gonna say is i'm trying i tried to block in the car and in hindsight it just uh painting and drawing cars is like just really something i've got to work on I've just got to like open up my sketchbook and probably draw a hundred cars or something. Just need to get in the habit of drawing cars. Someone who does um, watercolor, which I th think he just does a phenomenal job. I think I've probably mentioned him before, but um, James Gurney has a lot of art videos um, doing like plein air painting in watercolor and they're just so realistic i can't believe it um how realistic he can draw which i think often is um mastering just light how the lighting of a scene um it just does it really really well <sighs> but yeah i I wish I would have added more green on this post. Um, anyway, I can just see, I think it's nice to get the shapes right, but I like, I think if you get the shape right, you can take a little more liberty in uh, playing with the colors. And I think that's what makes a painting interesting. I think it takes a lot of skill to make it realistic, but I think it's more interesting if you're more playful with it. And I guess um, expressionistic style, abstract style. I guess I'm not totally into super abstract, but I, um, you know, appreciate that uh, where you can see the brush strokes in a painting. I made the really kind of a more, I don't know, red or burnt sienna kind of sky. I wish I would have made it even more orange. <clears throat> but that's fine. I don't mind it that much. I also paint as you can see on a pretty small palette, um, which probably hinders me a little bit, but I just so enjoy that it's so portable that I'd probably not ever change that. <laughs> um, I want to do a lot more um, 
plein air painting uh, than I do right now. I don't have a ton of time for it. Um, but that would be the goal. The goal would be able to really go out and plein air paint. That's what these cigar boxes are for. And um, I'm actually preparing a bunch of them for uh, Christmas on my Instagram. I'm gonna um, really start marketing them, I think, coming up to Christmas. Um, I did sell a bunch of pushad boxes or painting boxes at an art fair here in Berlin. I was really pleased. Um, because um, actually the first time I ever sold my art this summer at a fair, I went to a flea market. If you know Berlin, it's the Mauer Park flea market. And while that was, um, yeah, I mean, I guess I'm really proud of myself for having the guts to finally uh, do that. Um, it, it, it did not go well. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it wasn't a, a great success, um, but I watch a lot of other YouTube videos and um, talk to some other people, even at the market there, who were like, yeah, I didn't make any money the first time I sold my art. Um, so, I think selling your art is one thing, and then selling your art in a market is it's like a whole nother... Um, yeah, you, it's a learning curve, um, but I, yeah, I think things like that are really important, taking that step to be bold and try something, and if, even kind of failing <laughs> the first time uh, I did it, uh, just my display and things um, were just such a learning curve, so I went from, just to share honest numbers, I think I made like maybe 30 bucks or something um, when I sold the in the first market, the Mar Park, which is, again, not a great place uh, to learn because um, I basically was selling next to, like, um, like, garage junk. I'm, like, selling my fine art next to garage junk, and people are, like, looking for a bargain there. So they don't want to come over. It's just an odd place to kind of like put right next to fine art. <clears throat> put those two things next to each other. So, um, yeah, I, I didn't go back there. <laughs> um, I actually ended up miscommunicating also with the, um, the person who runs it. And they kind of kicked me out. <laughs> I didn't understand, um, how to book a place and they kind of booked me before I was ready and um, that was just a miscommunication anyways um, all in all it was not a great experience my first my first uh, flea market uh, art market experience um, and so then um, I think really after uh, another m month and a half I finally, you know, got the guts to gear up and try to do one more uh, market. So I did the Kunstmarket or art market right outside the museums here in Berlin. It's called Museum Island and I love that market. Um, and it's brilliant because it is outside museums. People are creative, artsy people go there, more likely to look for buying art and it's all artists so you're not selling next to someone's garage junk which I think helps <clears throat> but anyways um, at that market I sold uh, over you have to do two days you have to do the whole weekend on that market and I think I sold like um, about 300 um, in profit I think it's 90 euro or something um for the two days to rent the booth and then I I think I made a profit of like 300 so um I know that for a lot of people that's not really good um 
but for me that was huge I mean I don't price my stuff super high so that was a lot of things that I sold and I think it was really it was a huge encouragement for me but I did kind of take a break after that because um it's just really consuming to get all of that ready uh, and it is the whole weekend. I have the whole weekend where I don't see any of my, my family. So, um, yeah. There are some other markets I think I'm going to try to look into. Um, art markets. Um, but for right now, I'm actually creating my Etsy shop. Uh, I have a friend helping me edit my um, paint paintings that I've scanned in. And so that will be up and running soon for uh, just like digital download um but i am hoping on just instagram to maybe do just a kind of christmas sale of my um original paintings and my pushad boxes that i make so um yeah that's kind of where i'm at with um painting it's been a fun journey, a lot of growing. I think also just really something playful in my life in the midst of a lot of work. I mean, obviously, um, I have work that I go to every day. I'm also doing it in a different country than my own, so I'm doing language learning and doing things in another language that I'm comfortable with. And I come home and I have kids whom I love. Um, but it's quite um, busy and this is just something where I make I can make mistakes I'm trying to allow myself to um, make mistakes I think even in this painting you'll see the mistakes I made but um, I think that's okay this is um, this is just uh, me practicing something I haven't drawn night scenes um, I haven't drawn a ton of cars, but I, with oils, I definitely prefer to do landscapes. Um, so it was, it was good to practice a cityscape with oil paintings and still try to be expressive. I definitely could still um, go faster in blocking in color and stuff. I think I'd take too much time here. I also probably could improve the, um, um, like the light, lighting at my desk, um, at night, as, at night is often when I do, um, play with any of my art stuff, and I just have kind of one lamp that I have above my desk, um, which probably definitely affects my um, painting and <laughs> colors, but, um, yeah, I'm all right. <laughs> I'm all right with that, actually.
think one of my favorite things about this photo is um, I mean the trains remind me of Berlin so much especially these old ones um, but I think the way the sky was at night and just at night in general the way the um, stop lights in the background light up um, are so cool even the headlights on the car you can't really see it so much um, in this video but one of the headlights shines quite yellow and the other shines quite blue um, and I just love the way that actually I think I'm beginning to see how much the city is full of color um, like I'd said before I was I've always been drawn to um, painting <clears throat> landscapes, painting nature, um, going into more, going into the country, more rural areas, and painting. Um, and now I'm in this uh, big city, <laughs> but I am really learning um, to see all the colors better and really see all the beauty really of a city I also really love that it's, you can see that it's snowing, um, although I found that quite hard to paint. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, I think I remember after the video, kind of stopping the video at a point where um, I guess it feels stuck in improving it or moving forward. Uh, I think later after I got to step back for a little bit, I added more, a few more things here and there. So I'll post a picture at the end. Um... I'll post a picture at the end of the video, I guess, of the final product. But, um, yeah, I think I'll stop, um, stop, uh, rambling for now and just, um, let you listen to the music and watch the process. Uh, I just want to say thank you for watching and, um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not opposed to any comments if you have any tips. Um, let me know and um, please subscribe it's totally free and really really helps um, yeah god bless
son image. Il le créa à l'image de Dieu. Il créa l'homme et la femme.
Okay. Yeah, I don't think.